The scientists of the European Space Agency today embarked upon one of their most ambish ambitious projects. A solar orbiter was launched from Florida's Kennedy Space Center for a voyage to the sun. The orbiter has been jointly developed with NASA. It aims to get unprecedented insights into the solar atmosphere. The scientists are hoping to understand the science behind the solar winds and flares. Hopefully you'll be able to understand more um, the sun and how it impacts uh, the earth, our, our weather here. Also, it's, it's the first time we'll be going and observing the poles. So we use Venus, the, the planet Venus and the gravity assists to incline the orbit of the spacecraft around the sun. And we'll go up to 30 degrees with, with the years. It will also garner the first ever images of our star's uncharted polar regions. The mission could last up to nine years or even beyond that. After a flyby of the Venus and Mercury planets, uh, the satellite is set to hit a maximum speed of over 200,000 kilometers per hour and will then settle into the sun's orbit. Being so close to the sun, solar orbiter will, will experience very, very uh, high heat flow, so temperatures, uh, also radiation. Um, you have to imagine that at distances of 42 million kilometers, the sun shines 13 times stronger than what it shines on Earth. Uh, so this is an enormous amount of energy. Everything that is exposed, every part of the satellite that is exposed to the sun will go to temperatures of 500 degrees and more. For this reason, we have to protect most of the satellite behind the sun shield. This will be a, a thermal shield, a radiation shield, which will keep the temperatures of the sensitive parts of the satellite lower. It is a quest to find answers and better understand the inner workings of the sun. That joint NASA and European Space Agency mission launched a solar orbiter spacecraft. The aim is to capture the first look of the sun's uncharted north and south poles. It is the most ambitious project of its kind. We on earlier spoke to the Indian engineer Sandeep Ramanath, who is a part of the project. We asked him uh, more about the objective of the mission and the key focus areas. So the objective of the mission for Solar Orbiter will be to learn more about sun. So we will see how the sun creates its magnetic field, what's happening at the visible surface of the sun, and how the sun is keeping up all the planets within its solar system, in its heliosystemic environment. So that's the main objective of solar orbit. There's a lot that has been said about how the project will complement the solar Parker mission. This is what was shared with us when we posed this question. Uh, solar Parker mission was launched by NASA uh, 18, 19 months ago, and Solar Orbiter was launched this morning. Uh, Parker is blind, so it can't see, but it can feel and it, it can smell. I mean to say is it can feel the temperature where it is. It can measure the magnetic field where it is. And it can also measure the particles which is hitting probe plus. But Solar Orbiter is even more because Solar Orbiter has six remote sensing instruments and four in situ instruments, and remote sensing instruments can measure the things from far off. 